Hey guys, me again. Um, I'm sorry, look, I'm still in the same clothes. I was going to change my shirt just because I have to run out the door soon um, to an appointment for my son. And then I was going to try to fool you to make you think like this was video was done a different day. But okay, you're not fooled. Anyway, <laughs> um, I got an amazing random act of kindness box from Amy Zomer. Um, I met her, I believe, in the Stash My D set. What is the name of that group? Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. The name of my group is My Stash. Wait, hold on. I lost it again. Wait. I'm going on the page so that I know. Okay. The name of the group is my stash, D stash. I always get it wrong. I'm like, D stash, my stash. I don't know. Whatever. I always get it wrong. But <clears throat> Amy was so kind enough to send me a random act of kindness. Excuse me. Oh, my Lord. A random act of, I had heartburn like all day. TMI. I know. Random act of kindness box. And she, I think, was more excited. Well, I don't think she could be more excited than me to get it. But um, she was pretty excited. So she's been like tracking this package and tracking this package. And she's like, it got delivered. Go get it. And I'm like, I have it. I just haven't a chance, haven't had, have not had a chance to open it yet. Um, so we've been talking back and forth and she just said that I told her, I'm like, listen, if there's anything that you want, like, let me know anything you're looking for, whatever, I'll send it to you, you know, obviously, you know, free of charge, whatever. And it was just so, 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 so sweet of her. And this is actually the second random act of kindness box that I, or package that I've gotten. And this is a box. This is a big regional, um, um, B box. So this is more along the lines of a large flat rate. Um, and Amy, you're just too sweet. I love you to death. Like I said, I, I'm super excited. I haven't opened this yet, guys. Um, oh, my God. She has, like, tinsel in here. And <laughs> this is so cute. It's, it is, like, I'm hoping to get this done before my son comes in. But if I don't, I may have to redo this. But anyway, so she sent me a little note. Look at a little smiley face and a little heart. And... I had stated that my favorite flower is sunflowers. Look at guys. Oh my god, Amy. You're just too sweet. So she says, Chris, I know this took longer than I thought. Anything you don't like, pass on. I had more but couldn't fit any more in. I went from an A to an A to a B regional already have a great day hope you like some of it amy and then she says p.s i was labeling and rebagging while watching tv hopefully it's right i hope it's right too amy as you know my ocd kicks in but that's so sweet i like i said i will keep all these i keep all these in a shoe box and my little cards and this is just the sunflower card awesome awesome touch love it um okay so she has tinsel in here <laughs> She's cracking me up. She's got tinsel in here. Tinsel, guys. It's so cute. Um, okay. I should probably throw this tinsel away before doing the rest of this video, but I think I'm going to be pulling tinsel out of everywhere. It looks like it's sticking, too. Um, oh, and I think I got an answer to one of my other videos that I did. Hold, guys. I'm going to... Hold. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to throw this little bit of tinsel away here. Um, okay, excuse the butt shot. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> so, I got an answer. This first piece that she gave me gives me an answer. Um, there was, in my summer wax project, when I'm melting, like, I'm, I have to melt everything that's in my assorted box, um, or assorted big, huge Sterilite bin. Um, I have to melt that within a month, and it was, like, more than I thought it was going to be, so I have a lot of melting to do. But I received one of these, well, actually, three of these, and, but it was just marked HH, and then the, um, 
HH and then the, the name of the scent. Well, she labeled it HHS in Pink Crack. So now I know this is Haley's Heavenly Scents, which I believe I, that's what I guessed for the last one, but at least now I know. So when I make a note, um, I will know for sure. So, and I think I only had one of these. So this is awesome. Oh, this is really nice. Again, this is paraffin, so you're not going to get like a ton of throw. It's a cute little donut. I'm not, you're not going to get a ton of throw on cold, but on um, warm. Ooh, really nice. I'm not going to have scent descriptions for you guys because that would just take forever. But, oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm so excited. Okay, this is a vendor I do not have. Have never tried, don't have. This is Kissing Booth. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. I just started downpouring here. Of course, I have to go out. Come on. This is this is Kissing Booth. I can't even tell what this scent is. Just because. Oh, there you go. In Certain Death. Okay, I love that name. Absolutely love it. Um, that's the shop below. I will try and post the shops that she's included in this. Um, it's so cute. It has, um, glitter, but then something that looks like, I don't know, certain death. So I don't know what this smells like. Glitter. It's got glitter. Wow. I don't know what this smells like. This smells very nice. Um, hold on. Let me, I just have to, I didn't want to do this because I wanted to get through it, but hold on, I have to, oh, what is the website? Okay, hold on a second, guys, I gotta go on the website, because I have to, um, I need to know what this scent is, Certain Death, I mean, just that name is, like, amazing, it's just so funny, but like I said, I've, not, I've never received anything from Kissing Booth. Um, okay, scent descriptions, certain death, refreshing, oh, refreshing bubbly cola mixes with popping candy, like pop, like, um, what, what's that, rock, rock, no, what, what is that called, pop, the candy you put in your mouth and it pops, I can't remember, but, um, with popping candy for this death-defying concoction. This is really nice. I love bubbling like soda scents. I love them. This is a full clamshell. Um, oh my god. And like I said, Kissing Booth never tried. Cannot wait. So excited. This is Blue Agave. And again, this is one of my favorite all-time scents. This is a paraffin. This is a paraffin. And this is big. This is like a big chunk here. Um, so Amy, you're going to have to watch this video. I'm sorry, even if it's an hour long and let me know who this is from. And yes, I love it. Love Blue Agave. It's like a very nice spa scent, but it's very botanical and with a little bit of musky in it, which I love, love Blue Agave. Um, this is Candles from the Keeping Room. Oh God. You know, what's so funny is I'm... I put candles from the keeping room in my what I have to melt because um, I only had a few and now I'm getting a lot more. Um, in pistachio coconut fluff, which I just got from another vendor and I just, I love this scent. I just absolutely love it. And a lot of these, like I said, she, this is nice. And nice, and again, it's not like going to, it's going to be one that I love. Um, oh my god, so that's awesome. So I will have more candles from the keeping room and stuff when I, after, even after I do my, um, all my melts that I have to melt for the month. This is an orange candles from the keeping room and orange cream cupcake. And she repackaged everything. I tend to do that too, just to make it look neater. Um, ooh, this is nice. This actually reminds me more of, just on cold throw, it reminds me more of like a creamsicle. Oh my god, love those. 
I love anything orange, but it reminds me, like I said, like more of like a creamsicle scent, but that's from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is two donuts. Um, oh, actually, that those other donuts, no. Yeah. Two more donuts in, from Candles from the Keeping Room and Fruit Loops. Um, I'm not going to open everything just because I'll open a few things, but... Oh, this is Daphne's. Oh, wait, I don't. I have nothing in Daphne's. Absolutely nothing. This is Daphne's in Booberry Taffy, and look at this cute little chunk. Um, I own zero Daphne's. Have never sniffed Daphne's. Have never gotten anywhere near Daphne's. Have never touched Daphne's. So this is so exciting. Um. Okay, Booberry Taffy. Oh my God, you guys. This is so good. Oh, my Lord. I think Daphne's is going to be on my list to make a drawer of. Oh, my Lord. That is so good. Um, oh, my God. Like I said, never tried Daphne's. Uh, um, oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, this is a vendor that I'm very, very familiar with, and I love her stuff, and I'm not going to open it just because I know it's all amazing. Um, this is Starlight Chandling. Um, D. Scott owns this. Love her to death. Love the woman. In fact, I have an order in um, coming my way soon, as soon as she gets it done. So I'm not going to open it. But this is Southern Pecan Pie. Love. I love I love pecan. This is in Boston Cream Pie. Again, from Starlight Chandling. This is, this is a... Come on, focus. Okay, this is a vendor, guys, that if you have not tried, you have, have got to go and try because her prices are amazing and her scent list is insane. You're going to find scents on there that you will not find anywhere else. I sound like, like one of those people on TV. But look at the chocolate cream pie on the side of the label. Like, it's just too cute. I love D. Scott and Starlight Chandling. Love them. So you have to go um, to them and... Try them out. This is another candles from the keeping room. Amy was funny. She was telling me between her and her sisters, they have so much stuff. That's why she was sending me stuff because she's like, "We, you don't, you have no idea what we have. Like, you don't even have a clue." Um, in sweet potato corn muffin, which oh my god, I love sweet potato scents. I die for them. Seriously, love, love, love them. They are up on like my list of my top five scents. And corn muffin sounds so good. And it, and it is. This is amazing. Oh, my God. So good. Oh, Amy. I love you. Again, we have some of the tinsel sticking here. But this is Candles from the Keeping Room. It's like a little Danish kind of looking thing. You can see it here. This is Candles from the Keeping Room in Almond Macaroon. Um, this should be interesting, but it's pink. It makes me make laugh. Like, okay. Ooh, this smells good. I love, this smells just like a macaroon cookie. I love macaroons. Oh my God. They're like my, I don't eat cookies or anything anymore. I don't, I'm just, I, I've cut so much out of my diet. Um, but I love macaroon, especially from Italian bakeries. If they're like legit macaroon cookies, love them. This is so good. This is what? Almond macaroon? Oh my god. Amazing! Amazing, amazing. Um, more candles from the keeping room in Southern... In Southern Crunch. Oh my god, we have thunder. Woo! Going on outside. And I love how she labeled these, kind of like I do. I, I like actually make my labels, but she... Um, no, she made some of her labels, I think. No, she wrote the labels out. I make my labels. I print them out, but that's just me because I'm anal like that. Oh, this is nice. In Southern Crunch. This is a nice bakery scent. This is very strong, not melted. So I can imagine that this is going to be melted. Um, normally, I'm not like a big bakery person, but this has like a lot of like a caramel or a pecan caramel swirl kind of... Um, which I think the southern comes from, smell. So I absolutely love that. 
This is Candles from the Keeping Room in Rose Garden, and I'm probably going to tell you right now I'm not going to like this one, because I don't do... This is in like a, like a grubby tart, you can see. Um, I don't like florals, and I don't especially don't like rose. So this is probably going to be a pass on, but Amy said I could pass it on. Like she said, she said... Um, what did she say? Pay it forward, but I always do. Yeah, it, I mean, this is hard to smell just because, like I said, it's paraffin. But just by the name, Rose Garden, I'm going to pass this one on. This will be a pass on for me. I know a lot of people who love florals. Um, I know a couple people in particular, so they may, may be getting some random act of kindness boxes. You never know. Um, I think... Okay, this is Granny's Country Candles. I already know what this smells like, so I'm not going to open it. In Cafe Caramel... Come on. Cafe Caramel Latte. And I am in love with their coffee scents. Like, love, 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 love. I have a few of these. I'm so happy because I will be able to melt them. Um, oh, my God. Oh, I think she really listened to me as far as what I like. I, I can tell she's been watching my videos. Um, this is another Granny's in Cafe Mocha Latte. I think I posted in one of my Granny's videos that I just need to get all her coffee scents because I love coffee scents. Oh, here's another one I have never, ever, ever tried before. This, oh, it's so cute. Look it. It's a little happy face. This is how this box makes me feel. <laughs> um, this is an Ollie Soaps from Ollie Soaps. They also do wax. This is Neapolitan ice cream, which for people who don't know is chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Like I had said, I am not a vanilla person. I'm more of a Neapolitan, if you can see. Um, I've never tried Ollie Soaps. Don't ha own a piece. Now I do. Oh my god, that's so good. That's a really good blend. Ooh. I think I'm going to have to put Daphne's and Ollie's on my list. Oh. Amazing, girl. Amazing, Amy. God, look at all these candles from the keeping room. I can't believe it. This is candles from the keeping room. Again, it's a little cookie. You can see little sprinkles on it. Um, in... CC Marshmallow. Cotton Candy. My brain's not really working today. <laughs> Cotton Candy Marshmallow. Actually, I think this may be one of the scents that I have in my Summer Wax Project box that I have to melt, too. Because um, I only had, like I said, very few, like maybe one or two um, candles from the keeping room. Yeah, this is very light. can't smell it. I can't really smell it right now. I can smell the cotton candy. Um... I can, I can definitely smell the cotton candy. It's cotton candy marshmallow E. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next is Haley ha Haley's Heavenly Scents in Grandma's Satsuma. This is a nice, this is a nice, um, this looks like a, this looks like a paraffin too. I don't know. I don't know if Haley's does paraffin too. But this is um, Grandma's Satsuma. Now, I love Satsuma. Love it, love it, love it. Obviously, Satsuma is an orange scent. So, of course, I'm going to love it. Um, but it's more like an exotic orange. And I don't know what Grandma's Satsuma is. Maybe mixed with a bakery. I don't know. Right now, all I'm smelling is awesome Satsuma. Like, awesome Satsuma-ness. Amazing. Oh my god. I think I catch a little bakery in there, but I'm not sure. But that is amazing. Oh my god. Amy, you're so sweet. Um, okay. And I hate to be like, oh, here's another Haley's Heavenly Stunt in Liquid Crack. So I'm not going to open that up again, but if someone can let me know what Liquid Crack smells like. Do I want to know? Did she send me one in liquid crack? No, she sent me one in pink crack. This is in liquid crack. Oh my god, all these kinds of crack. Holy crap. Oh, this is nice. Too. 
I like this. Okay, guys, you got a list. Haley's Heavenly Scents. What are what are the crack scents? List all the crack descriptions below, please. Because it looks like there's a lot of crack going on at Haley's. Um, it's so bad. This is, these look like little leaves. This, oh yeah, duh. These are so cute. These are, this is Falling Leaves from Candles from the Keeping Room. And there are two little leaves. One is orange and one is yellow. They're so adorable. Um, oh, this is nice. Oh my god, you guys. I was afraid that this was going to be like a cinnamon type scent. And it's not. This is probably the only kind of fall scent that I will get. It's very woodsy. Almost smells like bonfire. Nice dried leaves. Oh my god. This is an awesome scent. I love it. Very earthy. I am so into earthy, you guys. Like, earthy is right up my alley. Love it. Um... This is Candles from the Keeping Room. This is a little, oh, it's a little, like, slice of toast. I don't know if you're going to be able to catch that, but it looks like a little slice of bread. Um, this is, because it's called TM Indian Bread. Toasted Marshmallow Indian Bread. Okay. Oh, my God. Amy, you're killing me with these abbreviations. I'm not, like, all up on it. Um, and did she send me one of those already? No, she probably sent me something else close to it, but... This is, this is nice. This reminds me of something. This almost reminds me of a zucchini bread, but better because I'm not, I'm not all down with the zucchini. So if someone can let me know what Indian bread is, I would really like to know. Oh my God, girl, you just went too far here. Okay, this one's not labeled, Amy, so please let me know. This is in pink sugar. It's got some sprinkles on it. I mean, everyone knows what pink sugar smells like, so I'm not going to open it, but there's no vendor, so if you could please let me know who this is from. For my database purposes, my OCD darling, I, you know, like I said, like you didn't do enough already by sending me a whole box of stuff. I gotta ask you for favors. I'm sorry, but uh, this is Another Starlight Channeling in Oatmeal, Milk, and Honey, which is usually a very, very light scent. Let me see. Can I open this? Yes, I can. Because um, sometimes Dee uses her labels to... Oh, this is nice. This is like a nice bathroom scent. I like this. Very light, but very nice. Um, oatmeal, Milk, and Honey. Oh, my God. See, when I try to do stuff quick, like, my son's going to be home in, like, three minutes. So we have to leave. Okay, here's a Derriere in Chocolate Indulgence. Now, they make, I have to say about Derriere, they make very nice-looking cookies. Like, look at this. This is so cute. Um, my experience with Derriere on melting has not been all that great. But I have some Derriere that I'm going to melt. Um, I think I'm going to finish it off. Ooh, unfortunately, I had to rip this label. But... In chocolate indulgence and anything chocolate. Yeah. Hello. But you got to see this cookie. Their cookies are adorable. Would you not take a bite out of this? Like, this does not look like wax at all. Not even on the back. Some of them look like really, um, they look really, um, realistic up front. And then when you turn them on the back, you're like, oh, yeah, it's definitely wax. This doesn't even look like wax up from the back. Oh, this is so good. This is in um, Chocolate Indulgence from Derriere. Um, mixed reviews as far as Derriere is concerned, to be honest with you. Um, I'm still kind of up in the air about them. So I don't know, but melting a chocolate scent will definitely give me um, a good option. Oh my god, so much candles from the keeping room, darling. Cinnamon Cranberry Harvest. Now... Candles from the Keeping Room, Cinnamon Cranberry Harvest. Now, normally when I see cinnamon, I go, okay, it's not for me. Now, I've been learning lately, open it up, Chris, and take a whiff, because you never know. Uh, sometimes the cinnamon is just too overpowering, and it actually makes me sick. So, yeah, I smell a lot of cinnamon in here, unfortunately, because I love cranberry scents. Um, I'm afraid... That when I melt this, the cinnamon, because it is paraffin, the cinnamon's going to get even stronger. 
So this may have to be a giveaway. I love the cranberry though. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna th I'm gonna think on this one. I'm gonna think on that one. Um, cause like I said, I don't want to get sick or anything. But on the other hand, oh, this smells so good. Oh my god, I can't. I'm not gonna get through this in time. I know I'm not. I'm gonna have to like merge two videos together. This is again Starlight Channeling in Girls Night Out, and she has some of the, like the cutest scent descriptions. So if I could like let you know what this smells like. It has flowers on it, so I'm going to guess this is a floral. Yeah. This is a floral. Not not for me. I'm going to check the scent description, um, you know, to double check, but I don't think that this one will be for me. I think this will be in my giveaway. Um, here's another... Candles from the Keeping Room, another little, um, what you call it, toast in vanilla bean boysenberry zucchini bread. Now, I've stated before, and Amy's may have seen this in my videos, that I'm not a big zucchini bread person. I'm kind of all, I'm kind of over it. Everybody's doing zucchini bread now, and I know it's a top seller. I just, I get bored, you know, with the same, oh, pink sugar, pink sugar, pink sugar. Oh, zucchini bread, zucchini bread, zucchini bread. You know, like, I get bored, so... But if it's mixed with something like a boysenberry, okay, right now I'm just smelling, <sighs> right now I'm just smelling zucchini bread. It's hard because it's paraffin too, so it's really hard to decipher, but I will probably throw this one in and it's not like I, like I said, it's not like I dislike zucchini bread because I don't, I'm just kind of sick of it, you know, like there's just so many. Um... This is Front Porch, which I do not have. Do I have any of it? I have Squeezy, I have the Squeezy Wax, Squirty Wax. Um, this is in Bubblegum Ice Cream Scoop Bread by Front Porch. And this is a little teeny ice cream scoop. I don't know if you can see this. Isn't that cute? Um, let me see here. Okay, I can't open this one. Oh, wait, here I can. I'm like, I can't open this one. I can't find the opening. Oh, this is what? Bubblegum ice cream scoop bread. Oh, and this smells just like bubblegum, so I will so melt this one. I love bubblegum. Um, ice cream scoop bread, I'm normally not like a huge fan, but this bubblegum is just bursting through this, so I will definitely melt that one. Oh my god, there's not many here so far that I have yet for giveaways. Um, this is Sweet Crescent Roll, Candles from the Keeping Room. It's a little, it's a little grubby tart. Candles from the, Candles from the creep, Creeping Room, Candles from the Keeping Room, Sweet Crescent Roll. I love the smell of fresh baked crescent rolls. They're so nice. This is nice. It's, um, it's more of like a flaky pie crust kind of buttery scent as opposed to you know like that sweet bakery which I prefer this scent oh very nice like it like it like it like it my daughter just got home from work oh my god you're so I gotta go out in this too this Dante has uh therapy like lovely he's no he's at Megas sorry I'm assuming he's fine he's much yeah he threw up once last night and then he was fine um, There's just something going around. This is Daphne's Trula Rula. Trula Rula. And it's in a little flower like shape. Oh my god, Amy, you like went above and beyond. I cannot believe you sent me all this stuff, girl. Just pay it forward. I have got to like give you something. I, 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 I'm going to figure something out. I'm going to figure something out for Amy because this is just. Oh my god, it is teeming and thunderstorming out there. True Daphne's True La Rula. This is nice. I don't know what this is, but I can smell musk. And I love it. Like if it's a berry mixed with a musk. I don't know what this is. Daphne's True La Rula. Let me know, guys. Um I'm like I'm digging Daphne's so far. Like I said, she gave me two pieces. So far I'm really digging it. Um 
Oh my lord. We have some brittle here in... Oh, this is Kim Martin. I have some um, scoopables from Kim. She is an independent. She kind of does it off her Facebook. Um, this is in Chocolate Lovers Type. And, it, and it's marked paraffin because she uses paraffin. This is like, this is brittle. I don't usually do brittle. I don't usually buy it. I don't know why. Because I tend to either use like too little or too much. I'm not sure, but... It's hard to smell. It does smell like chocolate. But it smells like there's something else in there too, maybe. But paraffin's really hard. It's it's hard to smell. But um, I do have some of the, her scoopables. So if I love this chocolate lovers type, I will have to get some more. Oh my god, I'm not going to get through this box. This is going to have to be a... Oh, I got some soap from Loving Me Some Paul. This is awesome. Oh my god. This is... Jack B. Nimble Candles Creations. This is in Rose Hip. And this is his goat's milk soap. This is a whole bar, four ounce bar. Um, I've been wanting to try his soaps forever. I love um, Rose Hip Powder may help to smooth wrinkles, stimulate collagen to skin, and soothe sunburns. So that's awesome. Um, I am going to have to try this. I'm going to have to... Yeah message Paul and see if it's, um, this is scented in rose, which I'm not, I'm probably not going to really love, but I can't, let me see, I'm just going to pull this out for you guys. Paul, um, is the owner of, um, Jack Me Nimble Creations. His soaps are just amazing. I love watching his soap cutting videos, um, but I have not gotten one yet. This is soap. This is in rose, but just because it's a it's a soap, it's going to be like a very light scent. It's not going to like leave a whole lot of. It's not going to leave me smelling like a big old rose. So I am excited to try this. Thank you, Amy. This is actually my first bar of vendor soap. My first bar of vendor soap is Jack B. Nimble, Kindle Creations. Paul, love you. Love me some Paul. You know I do. In rose hip. So, me and Paul are awesome. We're friends. We're awesome friends. We determined that. I haven't met him yet. I got to, but I'm invited down to Atlanta. So, um, okay, this is gonna have to definitely be a two for video because I gotta get going soon. Um, this is Rose Girls, which everybody is clamoring for right now, and cappuccino ice cream. Oh my God, Amy, you you know me so well. Like she really does. She, like I, you know me, like. You know what's funny? It's like, I saw her in the groups and stuff like that, but I never talked to her. Oh, my God. This is to die for. Rose Girls Cappuccino Ice Cream. This is going nowhere but in my melter. What? Oh, my daughter's got her hand out. Again, handouts, guys. I'm like, what is she? Yeah, she's like, mm. so good. Um... So everybody's clamoring for Rose Girls. They want Rose Girls. And now I have Rose Girls. And it's an ascent that will so be melted in this house. Um, here is LCP. What is LCP? Oh my god, I'm I'm throwing I'm 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 throwing it here. LCP. Lasting no. LCP. Long Cane Primitives. Thank you. Long Cane Primitives. I only have one, and that is in my What I Have to Melt for the Month um, video. And this is in Strawberry Rhubarb Lemon Chiffon. And this sounds absolutely amazing. Oh, God. Amy, this is insane. What you just sent me could have been it. Oh, this is nice. Oof. Really nice. What are you laughing at? Liquid crack. Yeah, and then, and then there's pink crack too. I told I told all, all my YouTubers to like post what what are describe all the cracks because I didn't know there were multiple kinds of crack, but I guess mm -hmm. there are. Um, this is a chunk of Rose Girls in Sunny Days. 
can see here. These chunks are really, really cute. Um, and I don't think I'm going to open this one just because this one is really, really, really wrapped, guys. So, oh, wait, no, I can. <laughs> well, always when I think I cannot find the, oh, you know what? I'm not going to open it. It's double wrapped. That's why it looked really, really, really wrapped. It's double wrapped. It's not only in the Rose Girls container, then Amy wrapped it in extra cello. So I got that. I'll never get through this. Amy knows me. She's been watching my videos. I love you, Amy. She just, she's been watching my videos. Here is Starlight Chandling in German chocolate cake. Well, it's not going to focus. Here is Starlight Chandling in dark chocolate, which is like my absolute favorite scent of all time. Dark chocolate. Love it. Um, here are two tarts that are not, again, these are not, um, there was another one that I had. They're not labeled, so please let me know. This is in Ambrosia, and this one is in Raspberry Vanilla, um, but no, no vendor labels. Who does this? I don't think Amy did this, because it looks like she's handwriting hers. What vendor sends stuff and doesn't put their... That's nice. What is this? Raspberry Vanilla. That's nice. Um, what vendor does not put their company name on? I don't know, but please let me know. Raspberry Vanilla and Ambrosia. Oh, and this is definite soy, so let me know, guys. Oh, that's really nice. This has a slight cherry... So it may, I, I don't know, it may go in the giveaway, I'm not sure, um, in the giveaway pile. Oh my god, there's so much here. Um, okay, you know what guys, instead of like running through everything else, I'm going to break, take a break, because um, I do have to get my son to therapy, and I will be back with the second part of this video. So... Unfortunately, I really just, there's too much stuff in here, and it's so wonderful of Amy, and I really don't want to rush through it. So, I love you, Amy, and I will be back. Hey, guys, I'm back, just like promised. I know you're so excited, and I know I always fix my hair at the start of a video. I apologize. Um, but we had such torrential downpours and tornado things going on here in Connecticut today. It was crazy that me and my son had to go to an appointment and, like, oh, my God, I was, it takes a lot to, like, really wet my hair because it's so thick. And it was like, um, but this is part two of my, um, random act of kindness box that I got received from Amy, um, Zomer. So I had only gotten through part of it and I had to go do, I had to have an appointment with, with my son. So, um, uh, hold on a second. I'm sorry. So I, um, had to wait till I got back and then, you know, the grandson came home and everybody was up and all this other stuff. So I, this is, this video is taking me longer to get posted than I wanted to. But anyway, I know Amy will understand. So anyway, I'm just going to keep going on, um, as to what she has given me. And like I said, I am blown away by this box guys, to be honest with you. Um, this is the bathing garden in Violet Cottage, and um, it's a full clamshell. I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't have that much of the bathing garden. I have two clamshells in my whew, in my summer wax. I just opened it. I was like, whoa, in my summer wax um, project box that I have to melt. And in fact, I just had to turn off my warmers because I was melting a couple cubes and different warmers to, uh, and whoa, really, really, really strong. Um, but I wanted to be able to smell some stuff. So I was like, oh, okay, let's turn that off for now. This is in Violet Summers or Violet Cottage. This is really nice. I am not a floral person at all. And you can see it's got like glitter on it, which I, I don't usually do glitter at all. Um, the bathing garden I know usually has some like really cool. Sometimes they put like flowers in there and stuff like that. I'm not a big glitter person. I hate cleaning it out of my warmer, but, um, I mean, it's pretty to look at, but, and this violet is, I don't know if it's mixed with something else, um, 
let me see here. Let me just check really quick because I'm not too familiar, like I said, at all with their scents. So, <clears throat> um, okay. Are they not open? I guess they're not open right now. I was kind of hoping to find a scent list. Um, let me see here. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. This is the bathing garden. Oh, their, their stuff is so pretty. Um, let me see. Okay, these are soy blended vegetable wax. That's always good. I always wonder, you know, what's soy, what's, you know, parasoy kind of thing, what's paraffin. Um, but I don't see a scent description. But anyway, this video will take forever if I go through all the scents. I just I just love it. Um, I don't, I'm not a floral person, but this violet, I'll be honest with you, it just, just it doesn't offend me. Um... I don't know if this is a keeper or not to be honest with you I'm not quite sure but it's not like the worst violet that I have smelled um, and this is what I'm going to show you sparkling this is sparkle and spice from the bathing garden and this is what I'm talking about is look at the little rose on the bottom that is so cute and that is like a almost looks like a paper like a paper rose or actually, I think it's an actual dried flower of some sort. But it's so cute. Um, this is what? Sparkle and Spice. And this is this is interesting too. I like this. It's um I was really gonna I was really expecting a but look at the rose. Look how cute. If you can see that, hopefully it come on. Focuses up on it. Or you can really see it. Hold on a second. There we go. So now you can really see it. It looks like a, it, it does look like a dried rose, an actual like dried flower of some sort, like little rosebud or whatever. That's just so cute. Um, I was expecting this to be really um, like bakery and it's not, so I love it. Um, I can smell, smell spice, but it's a nice, like, um, one of those more exotic spices, like, like anise is very strong, so I don't want to say anise, but like clove or fennel or one of those exotic spices, not your typical, you know, like cinnamon or whatever, because I don't, I don't do cinnamon. Um, here is a full clip. This, Amy, I got to tell you again, I just have to thank you again, because this is just absolutely amazing what she has given me absolutely this is interesting because this family affair um this is a full clamshell in cucumber and aloe and i have never heard of this company before um it says 3.5 ounces approximate melt time 15 hours i, I am assuming that's probably not per cube <laughs> I'm thinking it's all of it. I love this. I love, 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 love. I love cucumber and aloe. Anything aloe, too, really. It's just such a nice, refreshing, clean scent. Oh, my God, I love this. This is great. Um, My family affair. I'm going to have to look them up because I have never, ever, ever heard of them Um, before. Oh, there's another one. Awesome. Um, This is family affair. A full clamshell, or as they call simmering melts, in um, English ivy, which is another scent I tend to love. This is really nice too. These are really nice bathroom scents. They're really clean, um, clean scents. Really, really clean. Oh, this is so nice. I love this green, green botanical scents. Oh my god, I just love. I die for. 
Oh, love it, love it, love it. Um, that's an English Ivy. Then I have, oh my Lord, Amy, this is crazy. This is hysterical. Okay, this is a, this is from Granny's Country Kitchen. Or country candles and this is from the kitchen of this is a cookie in caramel chocolate caramel cookie and like I said throughout this video um she's really picked there's only been she's like oh give away any you don't like I think there's been maybe three that have been ifs like iffy like not even like oh god absolutely not well actually I think one was rose that one was like a no but the other two were like I don't know. Maybe I'll part with it. Maybe I won't. So this is just amazing. And I actually got my cookies. I did a granny um, haul the other day. And this is one of my favorite scents that I got that I received from the cookies. This chocolate caramel cookie was just, oh my God, to die for. I love chocolate scents. Love me some chocolate scents. Um, here is another. Oh, this is so cute. This is from Closet Full of Wax. I have not gotten any of, I have Michelle's, um, this is in Strawberry Bread Dolce de Leche P.S. Twinkie. <laughs> I don't know what, oh, Pink Sugar Twinkie. So those are the three scents that are in here. You can see it's colored, well, there's four colors in there. One, two, yeah, there's four colors in here, but whatever. Um, there's white, there's brown, there's red, there's yellow, there's pink. Actually, there's quite a few different. Um, but I have never gotten any of her chunks and I've been wanting to because, hopefully, can you see this guys? Um, her stuff is all paraffin, paraffin vegetable oil, um, mixed. Um, you know, I'm still debating paraffin. I'm, I'm not really all that sure. I have a lot of Michelle's hearts, which doesn't really, I have to put them in my little warmer and unfortunately it's a 14 watt LED. It does melt them. It takes a while. Or I put them in my little bathroom warmers just because the three melts that you get are not big enough. Oh, this is good. Oh, my God, this is good. But this will definitely be big enough. Um, and I'm just going to pull it out just because it's so cute. Look at this. Look how cute that is. This is really, really cute. Um, now, I'm not sure that her chunks are all... Well, no, I think she still says she just uses paraffin mixed with vegetable oil. Like a paraffin vegetable oil mix. Which, I don't know if that's normal. Like, I thought paraffin was paraffin. Like, 100% paraffin. I don't know. Maybe you can't work with 100% paraffin. I have no idea. Maybe paraffin's always cut with vegetable oil. I, I don't know. Um, so, if anybody sees this, let me know. Just because I'm really curious. I'm really curious. And I like to be really well informed. But, closet full of wax. Um... Strawberry bread at Dolce de Leche. P.S. Pink sugar cookie. This is smells oh, so good. Heavenly. Um, here are four pro, um, front porch candle company grubbies. Oh my god, Amy. Like I'm just kind of going through my head as far as like price wise, kind of like just kind of what I know and just you've just hit this out of the park and like I said the scent descriptions I there haven't really been that money where I've gone like okay she's like oh pass it on and I'm going like yeah this will I'll pass on this one um tea and sugar oh my god so good you guys I love I've been getting into tea scents like you would not believe and I don't have a lot of them at all and I'm on a ban as everybody knows um from my project wax I'm on a ban until August 10th but oh my god I love tea scents. Oh my god. They're so good. And this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. I'll get you back, Amy. I really, really, totally will. And Amy is such a sweetheart. And I, I might have said it in the last video. Um, I don't know how she found me. And I, you know, I think through my videos just because there's so much in here that is right up my alley, like absolutely spot on, that I think she watches my videos, um, because I've seen her in the groups and I've never spoken to her, and for her to contact me out of the blue is just absolutely amazing, and then to give this, to gift this, is just, 
she's she's like one incredible girl like absolutely incredible um here is Ali's soaps in sweet on Paris now I had told you before she gave me one of their Ali soaps I, I'm not all that familiar with Ali's but I'm so excited to try these because I've heard of them but I haven't had the opportunity to um, try oh this is nice sweet on Paris I don't know what, exactly what this is supposed to smell like I almost smell like pink sugar in here but it's almost like a botanical smell too Ooh, I don't know. This is really good. Oh, my Lord. God. I got to start building up my giveaway box. I just did a random act of kindness box, and um, it got rid of a lot of my my like, giveaway boxes, and I, I want to do a big giveaway for um, having for reaching 150 subscribers, because I think I'm up to, like, 165 now. Um... So I want to do a big giveaway, but I'm going to have to stock back up. Um, so I'll probably do that sometime in August because I haven't actually figured out what I want to do yet as far as the contest. I want to make it fun, but I want to make it kind of challenging too. Like I don't want it to be too easy. But this is Front Porch in Strawberry Fruit Loops. Oops, come on. Here we go. Strawberry Fruit Loops, Front Porch. The only stuff I have from Front Porch is the Squirty Wax, like I said, I'm in love with. So if anybody has squirty wax, let me. This is a little loaf. It's like a little teeny loaf. It's so cute. Oh my god. This is super duper strong. Holy moly. And super duper sweet. This I think, you know what's funny is I never um I never cut anything in half, but I may cut this in half and do it in two different warmers. Like on either side of the room. Woo! This is woo! Oh my god, that's strong. That is so nice. Um, here's Rose Girls. Again, like I said, a nice chunk of Rose Girls. Everybody's after Rose Girls um, lately. I don't know if it's because they're opening soon or what. This is in Follow the Yellow Brick Road. I love the name. I am so addicted to The Wizard of Oz. If I had, like, more than... Um, two arms, I would do a, a, a um, Wizard of Oz, um, what you call it, sleeve, but unfortunately I have my sleeves already going, <laughs> and I only got two arms, but follow the Yellow Road. Oh, this is nice. Um, let me see, what do I smell in here? It smells kind of marshmallowy, and what else? I don't know. Maybe some sort of bread? Some strawberry. I could be totally off on this, guys, but whatever it is, it's a it's really nice. It's kind of like a bakery scent, but it's not a bakery that I don't like because I'm I there's just like I said, there's a lot of bakeries I don't like. The breads I'm kind of good with like zucchini bread, that's different. But like if it smells like bread bread, like um strawberry bread or whatever, I love that. That's kind of what this is reminding me of, is like a strawberry bread. Oh, with maybe some marshmallow in it or something. I don't know. So, like I said, anybody who watches this, if you guys know what these are, please post them in the comment section. I will love you for it. Um, because all this stuff is going to have to go in a database. And it will keep me from having to look it all up. Oh, this is one um, I have one of, which is in my Project Summer Melt Box. And... Um, this is I Heart Wax, and this is Pink Lavender Zucchini Bread. So I was just saying how I'm, like, so over the zucchini bread. Um, this is in a really cute chunk. I love these chunks. Like, they're just so cute with all these embeds on them and everything. I don't know. It's just something different, you know? I like it. And they're and they're, they're a really good size to me. I don't normally have to, um, for my 24 watt, I don't have to cut them at all. Um... They're like the perfect size to put in there. Oh, this is nice. Pink lavender zucchini bread. Now these three things put together sound really weird. I got another lavender zucchini bread. I don't know if it was from Amy because that video was hours ago. And I started it. 
or from another um, D stash that I got. But the lavender, I was very surprised at lavender zucchini bread because I'm going, oh, lavender zucchini bread. But then just the pink sugar in here too really sets it off. I like this. I do. So like I said, zucchini bread, I'll make an exception when it comes to if it's mixed with other things. Just straight up zucchini bread. Not that, you know, not a big fan. Now, I have this one, so I'm not even going to open it. But, and I love 10 Digit Creations. This is 10 Digit Creations. Oops. Oops. And Cactus Sea Salt. In fact, in fact, I think I ordered duplicates. They were doing a sale, and I ordered duplicates of um, 10 Digit Creations. So, um, I actually think, I don't know if I've melted any yet, to be honest with you, but just on cold sniff, I love cactus and sea salt. Love it, love it, love it. One of my all-time favorite scents. Um, here is a ooey gooey s'more in, from Granny's Country Candle, and it looks just like a s'more. Ooh, this is so cute. Um, oh, and this is a coupon on the back. Oh, it's already passed. I was going to say, I hope you use this coupon, Amy. <laughs> That's on the back. But this look it looks just like a s'more. How cute is that? Um let me see if I can open this. No, I can't because they put the label over it, so I'm not going to. But I'm sure I will love this smell. And it looks just like a s'more. It's got the candy, the candy, chocolate candy in the middle, and then the marshmallows actually look like marshmallows that have been melted. Oh my god, it's so cute. And the graham cracker looks just like graham cracker. That is so adorable. I bet this smells amazing. Oh my god. Oh my god, Amy! I am sorry. I am so sorry. I just am so impressed. Okay, now we're moving, kind of moving on a little bit to some scent shots. And Amy even went to the extreme. I usually say, you know, in a D stash, tape the lids. But instead of taping the lids, she put them all in a cello bag. Like, hello? That is just above and beyond. That is amazing. Um, this is Angel Made Scents. I have quite a few of her things. Um, I've melted a few. I have to get more melting. But this is in Caramel Latte, a scent that, from her that I do not have. Oh my God. <gasps> my I cannot get too many coffee or chocolate scents. I, I just can't. This is really good. Oh, my God. Caramel Latte. Um, I will rebag all this stuff after, just because it will take too long in this video. This is, okay, Front Porch Lemon, uh, it says Lemon SCDB, and this looks like it's a scoopable of some sort. Scoopable, wait, Front Porch Lemon SCDB. I don't know, Amy. Like I said, you're getting me with all these. Um, how do I open this? You're getting me with all these. Um, what you call it? Abbreviations. Before it was too early, and now it's too late for abbreviations. But this is. I and I wanted to try from Porch's Scoopables. So okay. So I can see it's kind of like. Crumbles, you know what I mean? Like, ooh, this is really nice. This one, this makes me think it's some sort of bread, some sort of lemon. It smells like a lemon bread of some sort. Um. Okay, so Amy, let me know. Front porch lemon S C D B. Or anybody else? What is this? Is this soft? No, scoopable. I have no idea. Or something bread. I don't. I don't know. It does smell like a lemon bread to me. That's what it smells like. Um, but I don't know if the initials stand for something else. So I did want to try the scoopable. So that is exciting, and I am going to put this one back. Look at that. I mean, she has. This girl buys a lot of wax. Let me tell you, she is right now on the granny's the granny's board. Bidding her little butt off on um, stuff for an auction that they're having to raise money for um, one of the wax group members' um, husband was killed in, in a motorcycle accident. 
um, I think it was over the weekend, and they're raising money. I, I wish I had money. Um, I, I am going to donate. I just, I you know, the bids are just in, going insane, like, in, in the 400s, like, nuts. This is Krabby Candle Company. Now, I don't have a lot of Krabby. Um, I did, recently did a round robin with John from Krabby, Krabby Candle Company. This is in... For real. Oh my god. This is going to drive me nuts when I can't even read it. This is in Tropical Escape. Um, and... Like I said, so I, and I was the number one person, like, in the box. Like, I was the first person to get it, so I was super excited. So I had my, like, my pick. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. Um, I can't smell t too much right now what it, what it smells like. But it is a nice smell. It's a tropical, but it's almost like a clean scent, too, to me. Um, it could be a melon, maybe. Melon tends to smell very, very clean. Um, let's see. We're going to move on. This is more 10 digit creations in mocha cappuccino. And I love their dye free, um, wax melts. They, they don't use any dyes or anything, which I think is pretty cool. And when they sell them, they have them actually for a really good price and they sell them in fours, um, of these, these melts right here. And I always take mine and um I take mine and individually package each one and label it just that way I can share um but this mocha cappuccino I'm not going to open it but oh I can smell it through the bag I'm like I'm sure I'm not going to share <laughs> and I'm not so oh that that's oh my god that's amazing okay so next we have let me see oh here's one more little um cookie from candles from the keeping room in strawberry shake i think one other person i received a bee stash from included this scent also so this is cool so i will have two of these so this is nice right now i'm just getting like a straw like a straight up kind of strawberry Ooh, but it's really really nice um, you so generous, Amy. Oh my god, girl. Okay, let me see. This is, oh, she has sent me a bunch of scoopables. Okay, this is Kim Martin's Whipped Paraffin in Lilac. Now, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to like the scent. I didn't know you could whip paraffin. If you can see this, it almost looks like a sugar scrub. I really, really want to open it, but I'm not going to because it looks like it's really messy. I hope that this is a scent, and I didn't know I'll have to contact Kim because I really hope it really does. It looks like a sugar scrub of some sort, but it's a whipped paraffin. It's interesting. I'm going to have to contact her about that. Um, lilac is not my favorite scent at all. Um, so, unfortunately, okay, I'm opening it. It's so bad. This is what my base my video is so long, and I apologize, you guys, but when someone has put so much time and effort into sending me stuff, I, I have, I really have to. Oh, it's almost gooey. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm going to give this away. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to see how it throws. Maybe I'll put a little teeny bit of it in my bathroom. I'm upset. Now I'm upset. Okay, this whipped paraffin is almost like a gel consistency. That's really interesting. I'll have to talk to Kim about this. Um, this this maybe this will will be a giveaway. And once I'm off my ban, I will order some more whipped paraffin in a different scent because lilac is not my scent. But, oh my god, I didn't even know that Kim did with paraffin. I'm so excited. I will definitely contact him about that. Thank you, Amy. Um, yeah, like I said, unfortunately, that is definitely a giveaway because it's just not my 
my scent. This is Granny's Country Candle Scoopable in Tickled Pink. I don't know if you can see it here. Tickled Pink. Um, again, I... Okay, I'm not going to open these guys just because she has a cute little embed on the top, too. All her scoopables do. I own, I have two big, huge scoopables of hers. Um, one is in hot pink and lime, and I can't remember what the other one is in. All I'm smelling is the lilac right now. Um, it's all over my hand. Um, but this isn't tickled pink. And like I said, I know that Amy has watched my videos now. I know because all these scoopables, she knows I'm into scoopables and the squirty wax and all that other stuff. This is Jack B. Nimble's Fresh Outdoors. I love me some Jack. Absolutely love. I'm right currently now doing some testing for him. Um, in fact, I have to start doing that uh, tomorrow. I got to get a move on. Start doing homework. I was waiting for it to cure, which actually I think was it the 29th? It would be totally cured, but I think I can start it tomorrow. Um, this is in Fresh Outdoors. I didn't know he did scoopables either, to be honest with you. But anyway, this is Fresh Outdoors. Maybe she could have taken the candles and scooped them out herself. Herself, I do that a lot because um, I don't burn. This is. Kim Martin's Serendipity Cheesecake. Yeah, this looks like it was scooped out of a scoopable. Because I do own... This looks like it's scooped out of her scoopable wax. Because I do own four big, huge bins. Which you may have seen um, in my Project Wax video. Four big with the blue cups. I mean, blue bowls. Huge. Um, I have her paraffin scoopable. So, this is in Serendipity Cheesecake. But that whipped paraffin, I really have to inquire about. This is UTC. Um, up the Creek, which I think I have one thing of in Bartlett Pear, which I know I love this scent. Um, yeah, this is like crumbly. I think she, I think you can let me know if I'm right or wrong, um, Amy, but I think she scooped this from a candle of some sort, which is awesome. Because I hate wasting wax, and if you don't, you know, and she knows I don't burn, so that's awesome. That's so cool. I, I'll have to get me some of these little, these I think they're like three ounce um, souffle cups or three ounce or, let me see, does it say on here? Three ounce or four ounce. Uh, four ounce. These are four ounce. Um, here's Jack B. Nimble and Sunflower. Oh my god. Love it. Love sunflowers. Like my favorite all time scent. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ugh. I can smell it through here. Oh, I love sunflowers. Sunflowers is just an amazing flower. Um, and this is Up the Creek, which I don't have any of either, in Pink Candy Cupcake. Can we see that? Pink Candy Cupcake. There we go, up the creek. So I'm excited. This is really, really cool. And then there's a few other things in here that she. Hmm. There's two other things in here that she bubble wrapped. Oh, she even has bubble wrap bags that are resealable, guys, that have sticky on them. Get out, Amy. Oh my god. Okay, this is BKD Signature Prima, Premium Eco-Friendly All-Natural Soy Candle. Materials, all premium soy wax, cotton wick, premium fragrance oil. Providing the world with luxurious, high-quality handmade products. And it has their Facebook, um, their web site page and their Facebook page. So I'm going to check these guys out because I have never heard of them before. BKD Signature. This is in Buckeye Candy. And I love these. It's a little candle, but I will scoop it. Oh my god, this smells so good. I don't know what's involved in Buckeye Candy. But this is like a four ounce um, little tin. I love these little tins because you can also put them on your warmer. 
I mean, obviously, I'd have to take the, you know, the paper off. But you can also put them on your warmer, and it can, you know, release the scent that way. Or you can scoop them, whichever you prefer. Um, and then I love reusing these little tins because I everything reuse, repurpose, recycle, guys. You have to, you must to save our environment for our children. It's absolutely. I'm gonna have to check this out. These smell so good. Buckeye candy. I have no idea what Buckeye candy is, but I love it. And I love. Okay, I mean, look how she packages, guys. This is a a bubble bag. Oh my god. Let me tell you, this girl is super, super, super generous. Like I said, to reach out to me, someone that she's never spoken to on the wax boards, I love her to death. And I will get her back. I will. This is just... Okay, I'm going to start to cry. I need to stop. Um, and here is another... Uh, four ounce tin of the, this BKD signature in vanilla hazelnut. And I love me some hazelnut. Oh, this is so good. This is, I think my boyfriend may steal this one. Oh my god. This is so good. It's very vanilla-y, very vanilla-y. I know that's not a word. Vanilla-like. A lot of vanilla. Which I'm not big on. Is the vanilla. But, oh my god, this is good. But I can smell the hazelnut too. I love the smell of hazelnut. Oh my god. Okay, if my boyfriend doesn't see this, then he won't steal it. Um, BKDsignature.com I, got, I gotta check that out. Because these guys, because I've never, like I said, I've never heard of them. But you know Amy gives away a lot of wax when she has 4-ounce scent shot cups, or, you know, souffle cups. Um, she has all these cello bags. She has bubble bags that re that seal which is just amazing to me like that's like the greatest invention ever you know amy okay this video is going to be another hour it's going to be an hour video um when i combine it i love you darling i love you i love you love you like i said i'm gonna cry stop this was an amazing random act of kindness box. It was absolutely amazing. And I just want everybody to know I never, ever, ever take any of this for granted. I am so blessed to have met so many wonderful, wonderful people like Amy in these groups. And um, I'm so blessed that people watch my videos and like my videos. Um, I, obviously not everybody does, but you know, I really enjoy what I do. Um, I don't, I don't have a job, you know, I'm on disability, which I've posted before in, um, the all about Chris video. Um, so this has kind of become a hobby slash job for me and I take it really seriously and I really, really love it. And Amy, this just was above and beyond. Like I said, you could have done half of this cut this in half and she was like oh I had and I had more I'm like Amy stop she could have cut this in half and I'm blown away like I, I don't know what to say I'm I'm like speechless I don't know what to say so I'm gonna just say thank you thank you thank you thank you girl I love you seriously um and I will get you back I will like I said I already told you if there's anything you ever need anything let me know um Anything you want, anything you need, anything you see of mine that, you know, you want to have, let me know. It's yours. Um, and I will get you back. I will. I will. Uh, you know, I know, I know she's going to laugh. She, I know she doesn't need wax. So we will have conversations because I will find something else that she loves and it will be in her hot little hands. But love you, doll. Love you. Thank you so much. This was just absolutely overwhelming. Over it is overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Um, the only thing, like I said, that I request is some of the questions that I have asked in this video, as far as um, maybe initials on something, or if something was not labeled. If you guys know who it's from, kind of thing, because I'm gonna have to sort everything out and put them in my database. It's my OCD thing. I really have to, so that way I know what I have. And that way I know who I like, who I don't like. I don't like keeping it in a messy notebook. My handwriting's not all that great, so I keep it in a database instead. Um, but love you. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now because this, like I said, video is gonna be over an hour. But Amy, 
Oh my God. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you. You guys have an awesome, awesome night.